if you only knew the power of the dark side. Two, Two. one, zero. Welcome. Hey there, I'm Bob and this is Let's Get Retro. Now, I'm doing a, a video reply to two people, believe it or not. Uh, first one is we've got my Dave Lawn Post, Lawn Boys Post 1975. Lawn Boys Post 1975. I love that intro, it's really good. Check out his channel, I'm probably pointing at it unless it's up there. I can't remember what way that work with YouTube, it's it's somewhere. Anyway, um, he did a video which in turn was a reply to a nice guy, another Dave, uh, Infected Flinch, uh, which... It's not nice when you get your flinch infected, but there you go. Hopefully it clears up. He uh, he runs a retro channel that's pretty cool as well, and link somewhere there, maybe? Yeah. Um, but anyway, he had uh, an open question competition, whatever you want to call it. It was basically what game made you cry. Now, when I read this first, I ended up with two things, because the first game to make me cry wasn't because the game was bad. It was the Atari version of this baby here. Gauntlet. Anyway, um, let's see. Now, hang on. There we go. You're looking at it, hopefully, on screen, unless something's gone horribly wrong. Um, yeah, loading, I had to load, we basically, my brother got it for his birthday, I persuaded him to buy it, because it was my favourite game, my favourite arcade game, it still is, actually. Um, and, he basically, we bought it from a shop called Pete's in Town, which is the only place in Ireland, really, that you could get uh, loads of different Atari games. Um, took it home, played it, it was great. Went to load it the second time, the following day, it wouldn't load. Tried it again, wouldn't load. Tried it a third time, I think it loaded. And then after that, it just would get most of the way and then fail. Now, the Atari tape deck is takes ages to load anything. It was just the way it was designed, so... Um, it was just a long wait, it just always failed. So eventually, we brought it back to the shop, and they'd no more copies of it. So I was distraught, and hence the tears, because I was only about eight or nine. Um... But uh, we got a copy of uh, John Anderson's Rally Speedway, and the great thing was, we loved it, played, the two of us played it, and then years later I put a video up on the YouTube channel, uh, this channel here that you're looking at, and uh, John Anderson, the guy that programmed it, replied, and then I've had a reply later on from Scott Adams, uh, who was involved in Adventure, um, the, the company that basically um, published Rally Speedway, so uh, he was saying he liked the videos, which is nice, which is nice. Um, yeah, so there you go. It was worth the tears, I guess, eventually. And I did get it eventually. I got a copy of it off a guy I worked at the school with, Stephen Ryan. Lovely guy. Um, and we actually played it a lot, and it was great fun. And there you go. Anyway, the game that made me cry for proper reasons, and this did the same for a lot of Commodore users, is this. Chase HQ. Right, hang on. Uh, it should be a bit of it running there now. Um, it was just... Oh, my God. The arcade game was brilliant. Look, look, look at this. Look at this, right? This is the... the, look, the it's like Charles Bronson at Sydney Poitier and a flying Lamborghini uh, and there's a other car there somewhere and he's got and there's a, there's a I always get this mixed up there's a the arcade machine uh, so you know it's from the arcade and look oh it's that old favourite of ours uh, screenshots from various formats not the Commodore 64 uh, yeah the Commodore 64 version was just pants it was awful I mean the Spectrum got a brilliant version it's one of those few times that the Spectrum got a better com conversion than the Commodore Ooh. Controversial, but uh, yeah, uh, it is just pants. Uh, System 3 brought a game out a year or two later, which was basically like a proper version of Chase HQ, an unlicensed one. I think it was Supercharger or Turbocharger, I can't think, I should probably know that off, off my heart, but anyway, listen, Commodore 64 users, this is for you, okay? I never do this, alright? I hate all those will it blend videos and oh, let's destroy an Atari 2600. This is the one time ever that I'm going to destroy something video game based, okay? It's just, this is just for all the tears and pain this game caused us. Okay, folks. And will they do it? I mean, you know, it's a retro video game. I mean... Oh yeah, that's how bad it was. It's okay, Commodore users. It can't hurt us anymore. It's gone now. Look. The evil is gone. I should just lose my evil tummy. Anyway. Um, I'm just going to play a copy of the spec, you want to put it in there instead. Oh. Um, anyway guys, I, like I said, it's the only time I'm ever going to destroy anything video game related. Um, it's just, it was too evil to let it live in this world. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time.